Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and this right here is the new Google Pixel 5a. So I've been using this device for about three days now, and I just kind of want to share some quick thoughts on what I think about this device so far. So this isn't a full review or anything like that, just kind of like a first impressions video. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come because we like to have fun here on the channel. Plus, you don't want to miss out on any of the content I got coming with this device right here. Now, Google was nice enough to send this on over. Over. Although they sent this over, all thoughts and opinions are still my own, but still huge thanks and shout out to them for sending this over my way. So this is a $450 device or $449 if you really want to be exact. But honestly, when holding it in the hand, I mean, this does not feel like a $450 device. I mean, this phone feels solid, but let's go and see what we get for 450 bucks here, starting with some of the specs. So when it comes to the display, we get a 6.34 inch AMOLED display. It is a 1080p display with no high refresh rate. It is a 60 Hertz refresh rate display. We got a dual camera setup in the back, a punch hole camera cutout in the front, six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, Snapdragon 760, 5G, 5G processor and a 4,680 milliamp battery. And I will tell you right now that the battery life on this device, I mean, so far has been great. It's been amazing. Honestly, I don't have to worry about throwing this phone on the charger throughout the day. I mean, I can take it off early in the morning and make it late into the night. And I will be doing one of my all day real life battery drain test videos with this device right here. So make sure you make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video because you're going to want to see just how well the battery performs on this device right here with some very heavy usage. Again, very impressed with battery life on this device. But let's go ahead and go over the overall looks and build quality of the device. So like I said before, I mean, this device feels solid. It is of a nice metal build and it's got a nice matte finish in the back that's really soft to the touch and it feels really good in the hands as well. We do get that fingerprint sensor in the back which in my opinion is the perfect spot for a fingerprint sensor. If it's not on the side, it's gotta be right there in the back where your finger just naturally rests. And I say this all the time with devices that come with that rear fingerprint sensor, I say this all the time that that is just the perfect spot for it. And it works great. I don't even have to turn the screen on on the device just to get it to work. I mean, the screen can be off. Let me turn it off right here. Screen's off, I just tap the fingerprint sensor in the back and look at that, turns on right away, works quick, and it's 100% accurate, at least with my experience. So definitely the perfect spot for a fingerprint sensor. Of course, like I said earlier, we get that dual camera set up in the back. Now there is no laser autofocus this time around. So a little bit bummed out on that, but we will talk about the cameras in a little bit because I mean, you can't go wrong with <laughs> pixel cameras, whether they have that laser autofocus or not. Going down to the bottom, of course, you get the charging port. We do have the speakers and this does have a stereo speaker setup. And they actually sound really good. They don't get the loudest. I mean, they're not the loudest speakers I've ever heard, but they actually have a real clean sound to them and they can get pretty bassy as well. So when it comes to listening to music on this device or watching content, you're gonna have a good experience when it comes to sound. Like I said, they might not get the loudest, but they do sound really good. Now going to the display, like I said, it is a 6.34 inch AMOLED display. And I think it's the perfect size. I mean, it's a good size display. It's not too big, it's not too small. And the bezels all around seem pretty even. It doesn't look like the bottom bezel is bigger than the top bezel or the top's bigger than the bottom or the sides or whatever. I mean, it's pretty even all the way around. So we're pretty much getting an all screen experience here. Of course, we do have that, you know, punch hole camera cut out up at the top left corner. But other than that, it is a beautiful looking display. I mean, the colors pop, they're nice and vibrant. Watching content on here is great. Playing games on here is great because like I said, we get that all screen experience. Now, when it comes to performance on here, like I said earlier, we don't have a high refresh rate display. So you're not gonna get, you know, that super buttery smooth experience. But I mean, you're still getting a smooth experience either way. Over these past three days, I haven't noticed any lag on this device. I'm able, you know, to use it. I can, I can scroll through the device, go in and out of apps, play games, watch uh, content on YouTube, TikTok, go through my Twitter, go on Snapchat. I can do whatever I want on this device and I haven't experienced any lag at all. It's been handling everything that I've thrown at it so far. And, you know, honestly, I mean, there's 
nothing like using a Pixel device. I mean, using a Pixel device is a different experience from using any other device. I can't really explain it. It's just something you kind of got to experience on your own. It's clean, simple, smooth, and just easy to use. So when it comes to overall performance, at least over these past couple of days, I mean, it's been great. Now, battery life, like I said earlier, battery life has been amazing so far on this device. I mean, I know it's, you know, it's only been three days, but just over these past three days, I've only charged this device one time that is it I used the juice that it came with you know out of the box charged it once after that to 100% and I've still been using it since then and you know that's all I'm gonna say battery life on this phone is great I am very impressed you're gonna have to stay tuned for my all-day battery drain test now when it comes to the cameras right here I mean it's pretty much what you can expect from any pixel device I mean pixel devices are known for just taking amazing photos and you know I haven't gotten to you know fully test out these cameras you know 100% just yet but just with the couple of photos that I've taken so far I mean I can already tell it's going to be an enjoyable experience going out and taking photos with the cameras on this device like I said you got a dual camera set up in the back we got the main lens and then we have an ultra wide angle lens both working good now we don't have uh, that laser autofocus this time around and honestly I don't really find it to have too much effect with the focus uh, when it comes to the cameras on this device I, I was still able to get some good shots then when it comes to the selfie camera honestly I'm not really a selfie type of guy I don't go around you know taking selfies all the time but it does a pretty good job at taking selfies especially when you use that portrait mode now I haven't had the chance to go out and take any nighttime photos yet I will be doing that hopefully this weekend you know and the next coming day so I can give you guys a full in-depth camera review but so far I can already tell it's going to be an enjoyable experience taking photos with these cameras now when it comes to video uh, I kind of ran into an issue when taking video on this device so I'll, I'll throw up some videos here in a bit but when it came to recording with the front-facing camera everything was fine I didn't see any option to switch over to 4k video recording so I'm assuming that I'm recording at 1080p 30 frames per second and then we have the option to record at 4k 30 with the rear facing cameras and 4k 60 frames per second now I did notice an overheating issue even when I was taking photos actually let me back this up here for a second I started off taking about four photos I was out on a walk it was about 95 degrees outside so not super super hot um, I started off taking photos I, I think I took four or five photos and then I got a little alert at the top of my device the notice that I got right here was device is too hot flash has been turned off so it didn't prevent me from taking any more photos but the phone did start to heat up and I'm sure if I would have continued to take photos over and over and over again it probably would have heated up to the point where it wouldn't have let me take photos anymore now when it came to video I was recording at 4k 30 frames per second it was going good it was going good and then I did get this same exact alert device is too hot flash has been turned off but it still continued to let me recording at 4K 30 frames per second. I didn't have any problem with it, you know, kicking me out of the camera. It wasn't until I got to 4K 60 frames per second. I recorded for maybe a couple of seconds after I was done testing out the 4K uh, 30 frames per second. And this message popped up. First of all, it totally stopped the recording. And then it said, device is too hot, close camera until device cools off. So I wasn't even able to record anymore and yeah I had to wait I had to wait till the device cooled off to start recording at 4k 60 frames per second I'm sure if I wasn't taking you know photos and recording videos at 4k 30 frames per second first I probably could have recorded for a bit longer than you know just a couple of seconds uh, the phone wouldn't have been overheated from taking photos and recording video at 4k 30 frames per second so I'm pretty sure I would have gotten to record at 4k 60 for you know quite some time but since I did do all that other stuff first, this is the problem that I ran into. The device was too hot and then it kicked me out of the camera. But let's go ahead and check out uh, these sample videos I did. Woo, all right, so out here on my walk right now, just quickly testing out the camera, starting off with the front facing camera. What do you guys think? This is it. What do you think about the overall quality? Got the sun behind me, got the sun right in front of me. And also what do you think about the mic quality as well? How well is my voice coming through the mics? We got a light breeze as well. So not really sure if the microphones are picking up that breeze or picking up my voice over that breeze y'all let me know what you think down in the comments let's go ahead and check out the rear facing camera 
All right, so taking it over to the rear facing camera, starting off at 4K, 30 frames per second. Woo, we got some dogs barking on the other side of this wall right here. Hopefully they won't uh, jump over and attack me. It's okay, doggy, it's okay, I'm a friend. I am a friend. <laughs> but what do y'all think about the overall quality? Again, sound quality. And also let me know what you think about stabilization. I forgot to mention that when I was recording with the front facing camera, what do you think stabilization is like with cameras on this device? Currently recording towards the sun, as you can see there. Let me go ahead and pan around this way. See what that looks like. And honestly, it's looking pretty good here in the viewfinder. It doesn't look too bad at all. Let's get this green tree right there. Look at that, not too bad, not too bad. But this is just a quick test with the rear facing camera, 4K 30 frames per second. Let's go and check out 4K 60 frames per second. All right, so taking it over to 4K 60 frames per second. I did have to wait a little bit because the camera did heat up on me and wasn't allowing me to record at 4K 60 frames per second. But here it is. Let me know what y'all think. Let's, get a, let's take a look at this uh, little horsey over here. Let's see if I can zoom in two times right there. What up, horsey? <laughs> it looks like it's trying to eat. Let me go ahead and zoom back out. And yeah, what do you guys think about the overall quality? Again, sound quality, stabilization. Just doing a nice steady walk here. Let's go ahead and record towards the sun. Actually, let me go back this way because the sun is currently going down. I'm gonna go ahead and just jog this way real quick. Hopefully the camera doesn't heat up on me again. I did wait a while and here we are recording directly towards the sun just as it's going over the mountain right there. As you can see, the sun is starting to go down. But this is 4K, 60 frames per second. And it was right at that moment that the phone overheated on me and didn't let me record anymore. It kicked me out of the camera, or at least it stopped the recording and said that the device was too hot. I had to let it cool down. So I was able to record at 4K 60 frames per second for a little bit just to get that quick footage that I did. So as you can see, it, it could be a problem for people that maybe want to you know record longer videos at 4K 60 frames per second. It's not a big deal for me because I probably won't be using it all the time. Uh, unless I do want to take a, a video that I want to slow down to 4K 30 frames per second, then that's when I'll record at 4K 60. But I don't know, y'all let me know what you think about the issue down in the comments sections below. But overall so far, I mean, this has been a solid device, especially like I said, for 450 bucks. I mean, you really can't complain. A couple of things here though, there is no wireless charging here or reverse wireless charging. Like I said, there also is no high refresh rate display. We do have an IP rating of 67 for dust and water resistance. So that's pretty cool for especially for someone like me who tends to drop their phone in water by accident a lot And we also have a headphone jack look at that You do not see that in a lot of devices these days And then when it comes to what comes in the box we get a charging brick Which is also kind of rare now to see you know in a box with a foam And then of course we get the charging cable and then an adapter that goes with it But overall I've been enjoying my experience with this device right here. Like I said, this is it's only been about three days so my first impressions so far over the past three days are good. Even though, you know, it does have that overheating issue uh, when it comes to video recording and taking a couple of photos, I've still been enjoying this device regardless. I'm hoping that's maybe something that they can probably fix with an update. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait and see. And speaking of updates, that's the cool thing about having a Pixel device is that you're always gonna be first when it comes to the updates on Android devices. So if you wanna pick one of these up for yourself, just kind of based on my first three days here, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. And honestly, I think you'll enjoy it just as much as I have been enjoying it. But like I said, this is not a full review. I'm gonna continue testing out this device. I'll be bringing out more videos before I do my actual full in-depth review. So like I said, before, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this device down in the comments. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.